Hey everybody, it's Ali here with EHP Labs bringing to you my top 10 tips for recovery. So I think one of the biggest mistakes that people make when they are feeling sore or in need of recovery is they think that sitting still doing nothing is gonna fix things or perhaps jumping straight back into the gym is the way to go. You don't always have to do that. Sometimes getting outside, going for a simple walk, 30 minutes, getting the blood flow going, get everything moving, can actually significantly improve the rate that you do recover. So who here stretches? Probably hardly anyone as much as they should, but stretching has been proven to be an incredible tool and resource to actually alleviate uh, sore muscles and tension. So before a workout, sometimes interest set, if you're feeling particularly tight or you can't engage a particular muscle group, make sure you drop down, stretch out the muscle group, stretch out the opposing muscle if needed, but stretching should definitely be something in your toolkit for recovery. Okay, so I think a lot of people forget that part of recovery and probably a very large part is actually nutrition. It's not always physical. So making sure that you're well fueled going into your session, making sure that you're eating a great whole food and nutritious meal post your session, and also including something like a Beyond BCAA during your session is 100% gonna significantly enhance your recovery process. Probably one of the oldest forms of recovery treatment and something that I know pretty much everyone's gonna love is a massage. And if you can't get in and see a trained professional and have a massage or a dry needling session done, you wanna get your hands onto a trigger ball, a foam roller, or a kettlebell, and actually have a look online. There's heaps of tutorials out there on what to do with them, but be able to work through the process of manually releasing the tight muscles yourself. It's a, it's a really great tool to actually enhance recovery. So recovery for all of you office workers. This is gonna be something that will be hard, but I think it's definitely something you should be doing. Set an alarm or a timer. I think it's a great way to make sure that every hour on the hour you're getting up and moving around. Move more, sit less. When you're sitting, you're gonna actually be in a state where that recovery process will slow down. Get up, move around, get the circulation going and make sure that you're enhancing your body's ability to actually process that DOM situation. Now, if you're lucky enough to have a facility that has a infrared sauna, sauna or steam room, get the hell in there. Because having a little bit of heat post your session or even the day after when you actually are sore will incredibly improve your body's ability to recover. It heats everything up, gets the circulation going and helps relieve muscle tension. So supplementation is an incredible way to make sure that you're getting your macro and your micronutrients that you may not be getting from your food alone, right? And one of the most important things about having supplementation in and around your training is that it does improve your recovery process and helps with your muscle protein synthesis. My go-to post-training is always the Isopet. It's absolutely my favorite. It's faster absorption than any other type of whey and it's 100% something that fits into your calorie bank because it has no carbs and no fats in it. It's great tasting, mix as well, can do it on water and at the end of the day, I just love the flavors, guys. There's so many good ones. So glutamine is probably the most forgotten about amino acid, and it's the one that is broken down um, after a workout fastest. So I like to add glutamine to my isopept post a workout. Sometimes I'll even have it first thing in the morning as well, but definitely post-workout to enhance your recovery process. So beyond BCAA is not just your average BCAA, it's a two to one, one optimal ratio of leucine, and it 100% is my go-to during all of my workouts, on-season, off-season, powerlifting, bodybuilding, doesn't matter. This bad boy is what keeps me going. Reduces muscle soreness, improves my recovery, and all around just tastes fantastic. For any other questions that you want answered on supplementation, head across to EHP Labs website. You'll find all the information on all products over there. One of the most undervalued, um, I believe, tips when it comes to recovery is rest days. No one likes to actually just sit still, but the importance of actually doing that and allowing the body to heal, recover, and the central nervous system to be relaxed is super imperative. So. Don't be scared to actually sit home, Netflix and chill every now and then. You don't always need to be running around and you don't always need to be in the gym. Take a rest day, they're super important. There is so much science and evidence-based research that proves the theory that sleep is absolutely key to pretty much all composition goals you have and 100% when it comes to recovery. When we sleep at night, we actually release human growth hormone and we go through the process of rest and digest. The body repairs, heals, recovers, and refreshes itself for your busy day the next day. You can never underestimate the importance of sleep. You should be aiming for at least seven to eight hours minimum. If you can get more than that, you're on the right track. The body's comprised 60% of water. It goes without saying that being able to have enough water in our system allows our body to function optimally, and that includes with repair and recovery. So make sure you're hydrating. If you're actually doing intense um, workouts and you're sweating a lot, you wanna be rehydrating with at least a liter of extra water, and you wanna be hitting at least two to three liters as a minimum per day. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. We will be back with more information and more tips on how you can get the best out of your goals. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below on something that you found useful in today's um, video, or maybe even a tip that you'd like to offer out to us.